Well, welcome guys to another Let's Play. Welcome to Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Now, this was the very first Kirby game that was in 3D, and oddly enough, it was the only Kirby game on the N Nintendo 64. But the pink puffball is back, and he's ready for action again. So, let's get this started. Yes, I know how to use Kirby's copy ability. Now, from what you saw in the intro there, this fairy is called Ribbon, I believe. Her world was invaded by Dark Matter. But just before it was invaded, she was able to escape with the crystal. Unfortunately, Dark Matter chased after her and shattered the crystal into a bunch of pieces. Luckily for Ribbon, though, she landed on Popstar. Since Kirby lives on Popstar, he's always happy to help a person in need. Don't you worry, Ribbon. We'll get those crystal shards back. Okay, level one is Popstar. Let's do this. So, for those of you unfamiliar with Kirby, Kirby can suck up, inhale in his, inhale his enemies and swallow them. And he can also spit them back out. Now, if the enemy has an ability and he swallows them, he copies their ability, which is pretty cool. Now, the cool thing about this game is that I believe it's the only game where you can actually combine abilities. So uh, we just combine Cutter and Fire, and we have a Fire Sword. Well, that's cool. I think I'll just stick with this for a while in this stage. Unfortunately, Cutter on its, own, on its own isn't a very good ability. It, at least in this game. Oh, we got our first Crystal Shard. But yeah, Cutter on its own isn't a very good ability on its own, unfortunately. I like it better when it's, like, the ranged attack that Kirby does in other games. But in this game, Kirby actually turns part of his body into his Cutter, and it kind of reduces its usefulness. Oh, mini boss time. You're out of there. Ow, that cannon just fell on me. Now those stars that I'm collecting are basically like coins from Mario or something. After you collect a certain amount, then you get an extra life. Now, I'm going to abandon my fire sword now in favor of bombs. Bombs are pretty cool. The longer you hold the button, the further you toss the bomb. Now, the reason I discarded my fire sword there is, you see that black platform in the water there? That is a, uh, one of those things in this game that can only be broken with your powers. And in this case, only a bomb could break it open. And inside was another crystal shard. It was a, It's essentially the same thing from like Kirby's Dream Land 2 where some of the rainbow shards were blocked off by walls that needed certain powers. Oh, it's a Waddle Dee. Uh-oh. That's not good. I think that Dark Matter just possessed Waddle Dee. You okay there, buddy? Ah! He's a Waddle Dee now. Feel kind of bad beating him up, but oh well. At least we got the crystal shard. Oh, here 
coming with us, Waddle Dee. Cool. The more the merrier. Alright, so this is just a little end game. Or end of stage minigame. Now that thing I collected is actually an enemy info card. It's just a little bonus thing you can collect. You don't have to get them all, but it basically just shows the names of all the enemies in the game. That I think that's all it does. It doesn't give, like, a description or anything. Next stage. Or level. So we got a couple choices here. Could mix bomb and cutter, or bomb and rock, or bomb and bomb, even. I'm gonna mix bomb and fire, because this one's pretty cool. This one turns you into fireworks. One of the powers I would suggest not using is Bomb and, gro and Rock, because when those two are combined, Kirby tosses out a stick of dynamite, and it does hurt everything on screen, but that includes Kirby, so it's kind of a dangerous ability to use. Oh, hello there, Gordos. Could get electric power if I wanted to. I think I will, actually. Okay, so we have double electric power now. Seems pretty useful in this in this area. And now we have ice. I've always kind of liked the ice power, even if it's never been, like, the best ability or anything. Now, if we combine ice with electricity, we would actually turn into a fridge, believe it or not. And the fridge can spit out food that Kirby can eat. And if we com combine it with bomb, then we turn into a snowman that, like, explodes after a couple seconds. That form isn't too good, though. Oh, looks like we're getting a lift from Waddle Dee. I knew there was a crystal shard down there. Thanks for the thanks for the ride, Waddle Dee. Two two lives at once. Not bad. You're out of there. Ah, now I believe this guy is called Adeline, or Adeline or something, and he's a painter. Oh dear. And Dark Matter is going to possess him too. Oh boy. Now, his paintings are actually special. They come to life. So we're just gonna have to destroy all of his drawings. Wow, what is that supposed to be? It's all blurry and stuff. Oh, hey, I remember this thing. I think it's a mini-boss from Kirby's Dreamland 2, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha.
And you're out of there. And another crystal shard for us. Okay, you want to join us, dude? Let's go. So we got another member to our team now. This this game does have some pretty good music. Although typically Kirby games in general almost always have good music. Uh, let's go for Double Bomb. I haven't shown that yet. Double Bomb is pretty cool. It releases homing missiles that uh, lock onto nearby enemies. Actually, let's see if I can get... Eh, let's just combine these two for now. Fire your sword. Now, if you absorb those enemies, or swallow those enemies, you get spike power. I've never been a big fan of, like, the spike power. Although, what's neat about double spikes in this game is that it basically turns Kirby into, like, a Swiss army knife of sorts. So that's kind of neat. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that for now. Made it past the Gordos. I'm pretty sure coming up we're gonna need double cutter power. So let's go ahead and get that now. So you see, this is what the cutter power is like with, well, two of them. Its uses are fairly limited, as you might imagine. And there we go! That's what we need a double cutter for. Thank you, Adeline! And there's another crystal shard right here. So yeah, not not exactly my favorite power or anything, but let's use it for now. See if I can make that spike enemy respawn. Wow, that's a weird combination spike and the uh, cutter. I suppose we can go with that for now.
Oh hey, if it isn't the big man himself, King DDD. And he's still being a bully, as usual. Uh-oh. Here we go. Alright, King Triple D, bring it on. Luckily, this guy is really easy. Well, uh, that was difficult. Well, at least he seems okay. Ah, come on, don't be stingy. Alright, so Triple D is joining the party. <laughs> Munching on chicken, it looks like. Okay, boss time. And of course, the first boss is the Wispy Woods. Pretty staple boss for the Kirby series. First things first, let's destroy these things. Made him mad. I think one more round and we'll get this guy. Yep, goodbye to the wispy woods. Okay, so that's the first world complete. Now, welcome to level two, Rockstar.